September and June, thoughts on, a, on lab pitches for high gravity beers, 18 Play-Doh plus when not propping. Yeah, man. You know what I would do, Rock, is I, I would I would I would get that. Um if, if you don't have the opportunity to repitch prop or whatever, I would just jack up. I, I would just really jack up that that original volume. Now, now I will say this. One of the really interesting things that I saw recently, I think I just saw that White Labs is like making a big jump in in the amount of cells that they're starting to ship out for people, their baseline uh, cell numbers. They did it because other people are sending out a hell of a lot more cells, man. Imperial, and, and, and I hate to and, and I hate to sound like that, but dude, Imperial, I, I was talking to my, my other, one of my pro buddies, Andy, they just switched over to their yeast and he was like, dude, they send so much yeast. And I'm like, yeah, man. Like the, the, the lag time, it's, it, it, it's not like with other things. I, I believe I believe at one point, I, I think they're, they're borderline sending double, almost double what White Labs was sending at one time. I, I don't think I have to ever worry about getting a White Labs, uh, you know, sponsorship deal with what I'm saying right now. But they just upped their game, right? Which, which they probably should because there's other people out there slinging more sales per mill. Um, so what, what I would do with that is, if typically what you would like to do is you would like to get that pitch in what, whatever, if you're going to do a, a high gravity beer or something like that, give it a nice, easy beer, ferment a batch of your Blondale with it first, right? A low gravity, low IBU beer, maybe even low color. That's probably not as important, but then you, you can harvest this big, happy yeast cake off of it that that's ready to roll, right? If you're going, if you're going straight out of the gate with it, you can, you can talk to, you can talk to your yeast rep. You can look at a calculator. Me personally, if I was going to be pitching big on something, I would have no problem legitimately just talking to like for me the the folks at imperial they've they've never they've never pointed me wrong i i've spent a lot of time both on the phone with salespeople and with people in the lab and they've just been really really great um it, again it is something you can punch into a yeast calculator but also really what you're looking at doing is you're just looking at buying a larger pitch you know i mean if, if you're talking about doing uh 15 barrels of that and rather than thinking of it as a as a as a the, the standard pitch rate that you normally would, you're probably best looking at you know probably to feel safe. Just off the top of my head, I'd say you know 1.75 to even two times. But I'm I'm a little bit of a I'm a little bit of a Freddy cat when it comes to that. And I, I like to throw yeast around, man. I I like to have a lot of active yeast doing their thing. You know, happy and healthy. Um, but that, that's kind of my take on it, I, because really what you don't want to have, and, and I think we've had it all happen September and June, is you're trying to ferment something out and it doesn't it, it doesn't have the stones to get it done, right? You know, you're not, <laughs> it, it, it doesn't have the oomph uh, to, to, to really get through the work. All right, everybody, thank you so much for watching. If you feel as if you got any value out of the video, please like and subscribe. There are also other videos that you can watch. They're gonna maybe be over here or over here. Appreciate you watching.